Well, hello, friends in YouTube land. Uh, I've had some folks ask me about Adobe Audition, why I've not really done more tutorials about Adobe Audition. Well, good question. I uh, might as well go ahead and start doing some. And it's a little bit of a, of a confusing program when you first open it up if you're not familiar with, you know, your typical audio editing program. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do just a very bare basics of what you might want to do in Audition. And there are a thousand things I have not done in it, uh, but I'll show you the typical things that particularly video editors might do. So I've, I've opened up Audition. You can see I have Audition CC 2015. It's uh, toward the end of November 2015 as I do this. So 2016 will be coming soon, I'm sure. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull a file over here into this area. This is the area where your files go. When you open up, you'll have a, uh, a window like this and an off screen here, I have a folder. You see I have this called uh, STE007. Well, I'm just going to pull that over here into that. And you can see it goes ahead and pulls it in and kind of uh, makes the file ready to work with inside Audition. So what I'm going to do in this first little bit of tutorial here, we're just going to show you how it handles a, a, a piece of audio. This could just as, just as easily as being a wave or an AIFF or you know, whatever other kind of audio you might have had over here, an Ogvorbus file or whatever, but it just so happens I did an MP3. If you want to right click on that and see the, the info about your file, I'm pretty sure you have a place where you can do that. Well, at least I thought there was here. File, uh, da 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 da. Edit multi track clips. I thought it would show you here. Maybe it's just right here. Just pull it out. Okay, you can see this is where they, they've nested it in here now. So you see you have MP3, uh, 320 kilobytes per second, continuous uh, bit rate that I recorded, a sample rate of 44 once. So you got some info here about your file. If you want to like look at various files you pull in, you need to know something about them. Okay, so now that the file is in here and ready to use, I'm going to double click on it, and here we can see the file. Now what I have here is myself recording Hamlet's soliloquy. And this is terrible. Some of this is me really screwing up here because that's, that's a hard thing to do. It's kind of a tough little tongue twister there. So I'm going to look for take four. You trust me, you don't want to hear some of these other ones here. So I think this is take four here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to click. Uh, it's, it's what I have. You have this, these tools here. If you have this one right here, that is your time selection tool. This one it looks like kind of a weird little bar here with a little Y in the, at the bottom and top. But so here I am. I can actually scrub through the audio. I'm going to see if this doesn't say take four. So right down here is your transport button. See the play button right here? To be or not to be. Oh, this is going to be funny with my Appalachian accent. So none of this before that little point right there matters. Now, if I want to put a marker in here so that I know, like maybe i got a big, huge, long file, all you got to do is hit the M button, like M, and there it puts a marker in. See that? And I'm pretty sure you can go in there and you can name these markers. I think you can go in and right click on them maybe and change the name. I might be wrong on that folks, my bad. I'm trying to remember some things. And here we go, rename marker, that's kind of cool. So I right clicked on it and rename the marker over here and this side's where you do it. I'll call this uh, Tony Soliloquy. So, ah, crap, S-O-L, I don't know how to spell soliloquy, so there you go. So now, if, if let's say if I had take Three, I could put take three in here and put a marker in and go M and I could go over here and I could change the name again over here, this place. I'm not gonna do that. I really don't care about any of this. I don't even want to hear it. It was so painfully awful. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click right in here in that area and it, and it, the little time selector sort of um, snaps to that point there where I put the marker in. So what I did, I just uh, left clicked on it with my pointer finger and I'm pulling back. I'm highlighting all this. I'm going to hit delete, the delete key on my on my uh, PC. So there we go. Now I have just my soliloquy, and it's terrible, a, hundred, a minute and 35 seconds of it. And here toward the end, I start really blowing it. But let's go ahead and, and look. Let's say we wanted to edit this for, I don't know, for a piece of video or something. So how do I, say I want to zoom in and get rid of that little B bit, but by golly, I'd like to get really tight in there. The way I typically do that is up here, there's this bar, right? And it's got this blue... If you go to this very end here, you can just grab a hold of it. Once again, I'm left clicking it and you just pull it in as tight as you want to go and see what it does. It just, it's just like a rubber band. It stretches that thing in. And so you see here, if you let go at some point, you're seeing just a portion. And it shows you what portion you're seeing. Looks like I've got about the first third of this audio file. If I want to grab that thing in the middle, I can scroll around in it like that, right? I want to go back to the beginning. See what I'm doing? I'm just, I just left clicked again. I'm just pulling that. So I'm going to go in even a little tighter. 
And here we go. I see I don't want this whole little tenth of a second or whatever this is here. I'm just going to highlight that again, delete it. And so here we go. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing in them. To so let's say that maybe I don't want this much. Uh, I don't want my breath to be there so much. I'm going to show you a couple things. We could just delete that and it would change the time, right? Or maybe you don't even want to hear me. I can, you can slightly hear me breathing here. Let me show you how you do. I might get rid of that breath, though. You can just kind of highlight over that. And then, um, now it used to be, help me out here. Okay, here we go. This is kind of cool. <laughs> you have to forgive me, folks. Sometimes I have to reorient myself. These little tools pop up in different places. But this, this kind of pops up wherever you do a highlight. And you see that? you got your decibels right here. Now you can do one of two things. You can either like get over that and you can left click and just pull and look what happens. I'm taking decibels out of that. There's minus 10 dB, right? Or I think I could actually go over that uh, and, and manually put in minus 10 dB there. But look what it did. It totally flattened that out there. There's almost no audio there now. So let's play back over that. Fortune or to take arm. You barely hear my breath now at all. Arrows of outrageous fortune. Or to take, and, and if I think my pause is a little too long, I will, might maybe we'll get rid of some of that. Look at that, we'll hit delete, and it took that out, right? Is fortune, or to take. Now let's say that, for instance, maybe I do want a, more of a pause here. I can I can put my arrow there, and you don't have to like grab here and grab this. That, that's a good way to grab it and pull it, but you can just you can just go to a place and click. But say I want to insert some silence here, so you just click and pull anywhere in here, and you can go over here to edit. And you can do insert, and you can insert silence. It'll even ask you how much silence you want to put in here. Like, you want 10 seconds? Do you want one second? Let's say I want to put one second of silence in here. So I'll do zero, one. Say OK, and it'll put a second of silence in there. Check it out. I don't want that, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it back out. So now I've got this. There's of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing in them, to die, to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, you, that that doesn't sound so good. That little and pause right there. So I'm gonna zoom in on that a little bit. Let's get rid of that little hesitation that I had there as I was trying to read this. Now let's see how this sounds any better. End the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream. Ah, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come? Yeah, I know, I sound pretty silly here, but uh, <clears throat> let's face it. It probably, it, Hamlet wouldn't have spoken that with an English accent anyway, would it? it would have been a Danish accent. I should have come up with a Danish accent. Pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong. Okay, so I'm not going to like revel in my hilarious voice here. But so what might be some other things we would do to an audio file like this in this little first episode of our of our journey here in in in, in, uh, in audition? Well, we might want to compress this to make it sound like more like something you'd see here on the radio. You see, I has a lot of highs and a lot of lows and everything. Maybe I want to smooth this all out. Now I'm going to show you a destructive way of doing this, and then we'll talk about a non-destructive way a little later on. But I'm going to go ahead and and I'm going to go and do a Control A. So this is everything. This is this is the, this is the whole file. Let's say I want to compress this file, um, you know, so that it this kind of smooths out the highs and lows. So we don't have these big peaks and valleys and everything, right? I can go over here to effects. Now, so this is this is what we call destructive. Well, you, you do this, you can undo this, but this is typically probably not. If you're just doing one audio file, you might still go ahead and choose to do this this way. And I'm going to go to a not not no no no. no. I want to do audio, amplitude and compression here, right? And I kind of typically like this, uh, well, I like the tube model compressor pretty good, but I also like this multiband compressor. Let's try that one first. Something like that's the one I kind of like. You see here you have these some presets like broadcast, classical master, DS or drums, different things like that, tighter bass, walkie-talkie. You can make this sound a lot of different ways, but let's say I want to stick with this broadcast. I hit play. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Or so we hear that's going to sound pretty dramatic. What a, what a big difference, right? I'm going to hit apply. Let's watch what that does. 
boom. Now, we do still have some peaks and valleys and everything here, but we've really brought out, we've, we've just raised the volume substantially for all of it. I'm going to actually turn my speakers down a little bit so it doesn't pick up too much of this. But now it sounds much more like a radio-type narration, doesn't it? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing in them, to die, to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. So there we go. <laughs> this is just, uh, what I want you to understand first, folks, is just how you open up the file and how you start to do some things with it. Because typically you're going to, these are the, this, the main things I think that most people will do. Let's go ahead here to where I to where I kind of start messing up. The pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the sperms. Let's see. The pangs of despised love, the law's delay. The we can hear here is a place where I screwed up. I think I did better on this take, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this whole bit right here. So now, see so what we can do. Here. That's me screwing up. Office and the the insolence of. The insolent of, the in, <laughs> the pangs of despised love, the laws delay, the, the pangs of, the, <laughs> um, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of. So right here is where I start really screwing up. I'm gonna go to right here, and I'm gonna go to right here and delete this. Now I think I've got it sort of close. The proud man's contumely, the pang. <laughs> I suck so bad at this. I'm going to go ahead and pull in here, and I'm going to pull in this way, too. And let's take a look. And I have a terrible pause here, too. The proud man's contumely. The let's get rid of that. The proud man's contumely. The pangs of despised love. The law's delay. The insolence of office and the sperms that patient merit of the unworthy takes. Let's see. When he himself might his quietest make. When he himself. When he himself. he takes. When he himself might his quietest make. With a bare bodkin. With a bare bodkin. <laughs> okay. So let's get rid of all this. Okay. So here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Might his quietest make. With a I'm going to get rid of this pause right here. Now, I'm going to show you something else, and we're going to end this little bit of this training here. This comes to a minute and two seconds. Let's say we wanted this whole thing to last one minute. Now, this would be something that might typically very much come up if you're doing a voiceover for a one-minute commercial, right? So I could go in, and I could find little places where I've been lengthy in my pauses. As a matter of fact, I might go in and clean this one up right here. It looks like I've got a... You can just see in the wave where the bad spots are, right? So right here is one I could probably get rid of a little bit of space. Let's see what that sounds like here. Give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong. The proud man... Get rid of a little bit of that. The proud man's contumely. The pangs of this... And you can tell I really needed to pop filter on this so I don't have all the P's and D's and stuff like that. But so now if I come here to the end of it, I'll see that I do have a file that is what down here is our thing. One minute, or excuse me, yeah, one minute, 1.891 seconds. But let's say we're doing a voiceover for radio, and this is a commercial, and we want this to be fit into exactly a one minute spot. Here's another destructive thing I'm going to do, and, and I don't know hardly any way to get around this one. And I see it, when I say destructive, my MP3 file is still here and it's still totally unaffected. I'm actually working on an instance of this MP3 right now. And when I do a save, I'll save as. I'll leave this one alone and I'll do a save as and I'll have a whole new file that will be the way we want it to be. So I'm going to click anywhere in here. I'm going to do a control A. That selects everything. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go over here to effects and I'm going to go to time and pitch. I'm going to go to stretch and pitch process. This is very cool. And you have this algorithm here that pops up is isotope radius. I usually leave it on that. Precision high. You can go high, medium, low. Uh, I always leave it at high. And we have our duration. Uh, I want the duration to be one minute. So I have this set up to default to it already. I want no semitones change. I don't want it to be chipmunked or anything like that. Right? I want to leave the exact 
same uh, tone or no pitch shift at all. I don't want it to speed up and change the tone of my voice. And so I can go down here and look. Everything looks cool. I'm going to hit this advance. Vocoder mode, preserve speech characteristics, solo instrument or voice. Uh, usually, I don't know if I've used vocoder mode in the past. Let's just hit the play here and see what this is going to sound like. To be or not to be, that is the question. What so this is the sped up version we're listening to. I'm going to go ahead and say apply. And it takes a little while to do it because this is pretty... Uh, processor intensive what it's doing right now so if you got a fairly fast computer this is a Core i7 second generation that I'm using and I've got 32 gigs of RAM it could take a little bit of time to pull this little bit off right here folks so we'll let this go on through but hopefully when we get through we're gonna have a nice sounding um, you know one minute version of this and like I say pretend it were a uh, a radio commercial or something and boom, should be done. And now look, if we go to the very, very end here, you just go to the very end, we should say that we are at one minute. So we're at the very end, that's where this little red line is over here. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning. These, these buttons, by the way, this takes you to the very beginning, this takes you to the very end. This will kind of like rewind for you. I'll go to the very beginning, it brings the red line over here. So let me hit play and here we go. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing in them. Okay, so once again, not going to bore you with my voice, but there we go. We've taken a file that did not sound so great and the mess ups in it and, and it was too long and we made it short and we've sweetened it up a little bit. Now we could go into EQ. There's a thousand different things we're going to do here in some future tutorials. This is just to get you started editing a file. I think what I'm going to do next before we jump into a whole lot of effects and things is talk about how to do multi-track because I think it's something else a lot of people want to do is add music or let's say you're working with music and you want to be able to do uh, a bass and a guitar and a mandolin or drums, whatever. Uh, I'll show you probably in part two how to do some multi-track and how to use the mixer. So folks, this is the way we start. The last thing we want to do though is make this a usable file and not mess up our stereo 07 over here. So we're going to say file and we're going to say save as and we're going to uh, put this wherever we want to put it, location. It looks like I'm in, going into something 1123 Audition. So, so this is the folder I want to go into. If it needs to go in a different folder, you just click on Browse. And we're going to call this Tony's, T-O-N-Y, Tony's Soliloquy. S-O-L-O-Q-U-I. -O -O I don't know. I don't know how you sell, sell a, a soliloquy. Anyway, soliloquy, I don't know. But here you can see this is the way I'd recorded it. But let's say I want to change this to a wave. Let's say somebody wants a wave, right? I'm going to leave it 44.1, 32-bit. I could change it to 16-bit. A lot of people use 16-bit. That's what a CD is. Matter of fact, we could do that. Let's say we're going to put this on CD. We could change this from 32 bits to 16 bits. Okay. We're going to say 16-bit format. Here we go. We've got to change format first. And here's our wave. And we're going to save it as a 16-bit uncompressed wave. And it's going to go into that folder. I'm going to say OK. And so boom. And if I pull my folder back over here from the other, now I see that I have a wave file. It's much larger than the, uh, actually, yeah, it is much larger because this one was three times as long. So this one's still unaffected. It still has my old takes and everything in it. And there you go. Now I've got a waveform and I can click on here. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings of... Check it out. I look like a, whatever, whatever that little, uh, you got that bass team, the girl, <laughs> Brad Paisley. Okay, folks, that's it for part one. Let's start with part two here just in a few minutes, and we'll do multi-track.